Hi. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Hi, it's been a while. It's been a long time. What's that on that beat? Oh, no, no. I will explain to you why, and I mean, oh my god, he on X Games mode. Why I haven't been on YouTube for a long time. So let's get started, shall we? Okay, let's <laughs> go. That way or that way? Let's go. Before you bomb bombard me with questions, I must say that <sighs> this week has been confusing. It has been stressful. It has been tiring and it has been just a complete and utter emotional wreck. But I'm great. I'm, I'm fine. I'm just fine. Just fine. <coughs> So right now, if you're watching this video and you haven't watched the video before it, I suggest you should. It was amazing. It was emotional. It was sad. So we're going to try to uplift, you know, the mood, the scenery, the environment. Hi, bitch. Hi, bitch. And make today's video actually interesting. Now, this video was suggested by a lot of you. Who have DM me on Instagram saying, please do this video, we've been waiting. And here it is, just for you people. Just for you peeps, I'm doing this video. <laughs> so this video is going to be basically the truth about Instagram. And when I say truth, I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. There's something floating in the air right now. Let me... Um, what was I saying? Right, Instagram. Okay, yeah. This video is going to be completely honest. I'm going to talk to you guys about Instagram. I'm going to say the good and the bad about Instagram and just everything you guys need to know. Stop it. Get some help. Now, some subscribers that have subscribed to my YouTube channel are very young. Yeah, they have Instagram. Mom and Dad, hello. Get your... Get your child to yeet that phone out of their window. Like, hello? If you're a kid and have Instagram, and I'm saying if you're 13 and under, um, I'm worried about you. I'm honestly very worried about you because there's a lot of things that you're going to see. There's going to be a lot of things you're exposed to on Instagram. And yikes. Just yikes. I feel for you, sis. Oh bro brother I, i'm gonna be quiet now the pros of instagram is it is used to uplift others pros of instagram is that it can be used to make great content it can be used to uplift others what i mean by that is that you can always post inspirational quotes you can communicate with your friends you can communicate with your grandpa your mother your great great grandpa actually I don't think they would be alive if they were since what if they are like good for you guys like good for them but I mean you can communicate with your cousins your grandpa your your cousin's fish your grandma's auntie other things is that you can use it for body positivity what I mean by that is that you can post photos of yourself not naked I'm not telling you to go out there and just you know if that's your thing okay um, but don't come for me just saying you can use it to for modeling for pos body positivity people that have dealt with anorexia and are now on the normal le weight level you can use that to you know um draw an audience to help them with health issues now i'm basically going to be talking about the bad and what i mean by bad is there's a lot of bad <laughs> i'm going to be completely honest now instagram has this new update where your followers are very I don't know how to explain it, so I'm just going to show you guys. Um, so basically, Instagram has this new update where if you go on anyone's profile, the followers, the following, all that is very clear. Another one. Basically, the good thing about this is that before this update, 
everyone, and I mean anyone who had Instagram, would always think about the followers. Now, for me personally, when I hit 6,000 followers, I was like, um, why? Um, why are 6,000 people out there following me? Like, hello? Like, what about me like draws you in it's supposed to make you unfollow me at the same time when you always focus on your followers you get really stressed you, you focus on instagram non-stop um and i think that was a bad thing about it so this update really helps so basically the second good thing about instagram is that the you can't see the amount of likes of your friends but you can only see yours and the good thing about this is that if you go on your friend's post and try to find how many numbers of likes they have, if you do this, you're a freaking creep and you should get help. It will not tell you the amount of likes. Wait, I'm really dehydrated and parched. Let me drink some water. The next con, and I would say the the most negative thing about Instagram is that you will be exposed. <laughs> exposed. Stop doing that. This exposed. Stop doing that. To a lot of nudity, a lot of violence, a lot of threatening messages sent to your DM, and it's amazing to be honest. I have dealt with it, so I have a coping mechanism for it, and it's. I just laugh about whatever DMs I get. What I mean by nudity is that you're going to see a lot of um, females with their genitalia and titties just out in the open, just like full, you know, spread eagle on social media. I think um, that's very worrying for those who are young. Instagram should be a a clean place, you know, a great clean place. Next thing is that I have been on my explore page, and I and I'm telling you right now, I've seen some really dark stuff that I, I should not have seen. Um, I came across this video of someone getting run over. Um, it was great, you know. It was it was amazing. It was honestly very aesthetically pleasing. No, it wasn't. I'm joking. It was completely depressing and dark. Other things that I've seen is that I have seen some really creepy videos of like chicks in forests at night and like they're running towards the camera. And also something that had that has went viral is the clown videos. That shit is not funny. That shit is creepy and hella weird, you know? Like, sis, like who does that? Like. Who on a Friday night goes to the woods or goes to a cornfield and just runs into the middle of the road to skip like people driving? Like I mean it's mother freaking they're already on a on a cornfield. They should already be scared of that. So now I'm gonna be talking about DMs. Now I will show you some DMs that I have. Some are just basically um fake profile pics of uh, girls and it's all nude it's like oh my god do you want to see my tits go on this website like do you want to see my tits and it's like um okay cool um don't sign me up fam i don't want that there's always and i'm not even joking go on any girl's dm and you're going to find this weird indian guy messaging like i want to see bobs and vagina but they're oh my god Gosh, there was this one DM that I got and it was this Indian guy pretending to be a prince and he's like I am very wealthy and I have a lot of money and I would like to take you out Now I don't know how you're gonna take me out because I'm in Australia and you're in India So that's the first thing second thing you're not a princess if you're a prince you wouldn't even have Instagram You would have someone to make your Instagram but you won't have Instagram Third of all, royalty or not, bitch, I am my own royalty. I don't need you. I, I basically, for Instagram, it was a lot of weird stuff. Um, I've seen a lot of things. And when I say Instagram, I mean Instagram, other social media like Twitter, Facebook, all that. There's always the good side where you can always communicate with your friends. If you don't have SMS and you're broke, hello, um, <laughs> this bitch right here. And there's also... The dark side of Instagram, social media, and all that, where you can just fall into a really dark, depressed um, mentality when it comes to Instagram. Now, I'm going to share a story um, that is, it's, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I'm going to share this story, and I'm sharing it just so you guys 
can learn from it. Um, so I I had um, a, a, an encounter with a person on Instagram, and I unfollowed them. And um, so they basically sent me hate messages on um, my DMs, and it was horrible. Um, and the thing is that I see this person uh, a lot um, in real life. Um, that person targeted me and um, basically abused me on social media. Um, it was great. <laughs> it was awesome. It was it was quite a it was quite a trip. You know, it was amazing. You know, you know as it should be. Mm -hmm. So now I'm just going to uh, advise you guys. So not always share every single thing about yourself on social media. Uh, you don't know who sees it out there. I think it's very important that you keep stuff about your life low key. There's a lot of little stuff floating in the air and it's annoying me. <sighs> Can you please leave? I'm trying to make a video. So yeah, don't share every single thing about yourself on social media. People don't have to know um, if you wax your arm, if... If you run out of makeup, where you live, where your grandpa lives, where your grandma's grandma's daughter's sister, cousin's auntie um, lives in a uh, Caprimata or Lidcombe or Bankstown or Parramatta. I don't think anyone gives a crap. Um, and to the people that do, they will find you and they will kill you. And I'm just joking, but they might. Um, what's up? I don't know. Shit that can go down, you know, in the hood. You never know, sis. Cousin might get shot tomorrow. I'm just kidding. Yeah, social media can be used for so many good things. I don't really want to focus on the negative, but this it can be used for so many good things. It can be used for feminists, activists, vegans, coping with body disorders, uh, a helpline, all these things. Instagram can be used for so many beautiful things. And the thing about this is that your mom and dad will never know. Your mama and your baba, your mama and your dada, your mama and your auntie, your grandma, your cousin, your auntie, your auntie Fisher's cousin, okay? They won't know these. If they don't have Instagram, they don't have any social media, they will come for you. They will harass you every day, say, get off your phone. Like, you can literally have the stomach ache and your mom can come in and be like, Oh, you have a stomach ache? Yeah, it's because you're always on your phone. Get off your phone. But there is a thing called social media detox. I have tried it. Um, I loved it. Um, which basically it means that you spend a month without Instagram. So that's 30 days for you Instagram addicts to go to rehab. So what it is, is that um, personally I've done it. It's where you unfollow every single person that you're following right now. I'm talking about celebrities, friends, everything. Um, and you basically uh, uninstall Instagram. This video is not going to get sponsored by Instagram. I don't think so. Um, and basically, you just, you know, live your life. And can I just say, it's not hard living without Instagram. Like, I think you'll be just fine, sister. Um, she, uh, I can't believe I just said sister. There's been a lot of drama um, going on with some YouTubers and I'm... I hope this video, you know, distracts you from all that drama, llama, mama, fama. And, um, yeah, so we'll serve. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If it helped you in any way, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give this a thumbs up. Um, if you hate me, uh, subscribe. Uh, if you love me, um, still subscribe, you know. Um, hate me, love me, date me. Uh, you know, what's up? I'm ready. Okay, this is getting really sexual. Bye. On my Instagram, you be looking.